What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about fire team power and the changes that Bungie will be making to fire team power in the final shape. In this week's TWAB, there was a lot of discussion about uh, different power levels in Destiny 2. I'm going to make several videos talking about these. In today's video, like I said, I'm going to cover fire team power. Uh, they kind of talked about how fire team power was announced in Destiny 2 showcase in 2023, but they've done a lot of changes. Uh, since then, but they're going to have a whole lot of a whole lot more changes coming in the final shape. It says they've revisited our power system and overhauled the UI to make power more intuitive and approachable than ever before. You'll find a whole bunch of changes detailed below, all made with the following goals in mind. Uh, power offers a meaningful progression that rewards players with a real sense of getting stronger. Also, Destiny 2 is a game you can always play with your friends regardless of your power level. And they will lower the barrier of the barrier to entry for Destiny 2 story content, and power should be intuitive and understandable, both for experienced and new players alike. It says in the final shape, playing will, playing with friends will be easier than ever, no matter if you play every day, haven't played in years, or trying Destiny 2 out for the first time. The player with the highest power level in the fire team will become the power leader, and all other players in the fire team will be brought up to the five, uh, brought up to five power below the power leader if their power uh, power isn't already higher. Fire team power only affects activity difficulty, and your adjusted power level will still determine the power of your rewards. So just keep that in mind uh, going forward. If you're in there in a group and you're higher or lower. Your adjusted power, uh, your unadjusted power level will still determine the power of your rewards. So, your rewards are still going to be based on your power level. But if you're in a group and you are lower level than the leader, or the, you're the lower level person in the group, you will be brought up to five power below the power leader. And they kind of gave some examples showing this off and talking more, a little bit more about it, saying your power level will now be displayed next to the activity power cap right at the launch button, so you can easily determine how difficult the activity will feel. So we're trying to make make it a little bit easier to you know, be able to distinguish the difference of your power level and what the activity's uh, power level actually will be, or you know, the activity power cap. And the example they gave was showing you know, a player being the fire team leader at level 2000, and of course, uh, your when your power is increased by your fire team power, your adjusted power will take its place. So it shows kind of here in this example that the leader is at 2000, and so it brought everyone else up there uh, to 1950. So you can see here in the bottom corner, it shows adjusted power of 1995. Uh, with fire team power, friends should always be able to play together regardless of power level. And I think what they're doing is a good idea. That way you, you won't ever have to worry about getting in the game and, and, and grinding something out to, just to be able to play with friends. And that, of course, is an issue in a lot of different games. So I'm glad that they are addressing that. It will be interesting to see going forward how this is going to work with lower level players playing with higher skilled players in more difficult content. I still don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But I will be curious to see how the community kind of responds to that but overall i think this is a great idea and i do like the way they have made changes to the ui to make this a little bit easier to you know see and understand when you're looking at that page when you are in a fire team in a group getting ready to load into an activity leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about this new fire team power idea and really this week's twab bungie pulled out pretty much all the stops talking about all the different changes they're making in the final shape and I was really surprised to hear some of these. And I think everyone in the community was really excited after this week to uh, kind of see what's going to happen going forward in Destiny 2. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.